a kabushiki geisha Japanese, zushi weishi pronounced kabi, ki a ia, lit. share company, or kabushiki keisha, commonly abbreviated kk, is a type of company, weishi keisha, defined under the Companies Act of Japan. The term is often translated as stock company, joint stock company, or Stock Corporation Topic Usage in language In English, kabushiki keisha is usually used, but the original Japanese pronunciation is kabushiki geisha because of rendaku. A kabushiki keisha must include Zushi Weishi. In its name, Article 6, Paragraph 2 of the Companies Act. In a company name, Zushi Weishi can be used as a prefix, e.g., Zushi Weishi Diantong Kabushiki Gaisha Dentsu, which is called Mei Kabu, or as a suffix, e.g., Toyota Z Dongche Zushi Weishi Toyota Jidosha Kabushiki Gaisha, which is called Auto Kabu. Many Japanese companies translate the phrase Zushi Weishi in their name as Co. Limited, but others use the more Americanized translations Corporation or Incorporated. Texts in England often refer to Kabushiki Gaisha as Joint Stock Companies. While that is close to a literal translation of the term, the two are not the same. The Japanese government once endorsed business corporation as an official translation but now uses more literal translation stock company. Japanese often abbreviate zushi weishi in a company name on signage including the sides of their vehicles to zoo in parentheses, as, for example, ABC. The full, formal name would then be ABC Zushi Weishi. Zushi Weishi is also combined into one Unicode character at code point U plus 337F. History The first Kabushiki Gaisha was the first National Bank of Japan, incorporated in 1873. Rules regarding Kabushiki Gaisha were set out in the Commercial Code of Japan. During the Allied occupation of Japan following World War II, the occupation authorities introduced revisions to the Commercial Code based on the Illinois Business Corporation Act of 1933, giving Kabushiki Gaisha many traits of American corporations. Over time, Japanese and U.S. corporate law diverged, and KK assumed many characteristics not found in U.S. corporations. For instance, a KK could not buy back its own stock a restriction which still stands, issue stock for a price of less than 50,000 yen per share effective 1982, or operate with paid-in capital of less than 10 million yen effective 1991-2005. On June 29, 2005, the Diet of Japan passed a new Companies Act, Weishifa Keisha Ho, which took effect on May 1, 2006. The new law greatly affected the formation and function of KKs and other Japanese business organizations, bringing them closer to their contemporary counterparts in the U.S. Formation 
A kabushiki geisha may be started with capital as low as 1 yen, making the total cost of a KK incorporation approximately 240,000 yen about $2, in taxes and notarization fees. Under the old commercial code, a KK required starting capital of 10 million yen about $105,000, a lower capital requirement was later instituted, but corporations with under 3 million yen in assets were barred from issuing dividends, and companies were required to increase their capital to 10 million yen within five years of formation. The main steps in incorporation are the following Preparation and notarization of articles of incorporation Receipt of capital, either directly or through an offering The incorporation of a KK is carried out by one or more incorporators, Fachi Ren Hokainen, sometimes referred to as promoters. Although seven incorporators were required as recently as the 1980s, a KK now only needs one incorporator, which may be an individual or a corporation. If there are multiple incorporators, they must sign a partnership agreement before incorporating the company. The value or minimum amount of assets received in exchange for the initial issuance of shares, the name and address of the incorporator s the purpose statement requires some specialized knowledge as japan follows an ultra vires doctrine and does not allow a kk to act beyond its purposes judicial or administrative scriveners are often hired to draft the purposes of a new company additionally the articles of incorporation must contain the following if applicable any non-cash assets contributed as capital to the company, the name of the contributor and the number of shares issued for such assets. Any assets promised to be purchased after the incorporation of the company and the name of the provider. Any compensation to be paid to the incorporators. Non-routine incorporation expenses that will be borne by the company other matters may also be included such as limits on the number of directors and auditors The corporation code allows a KK to be formed as a stock company that is not a public company Gongkai weishi denai zushi weishi kakai gaisha denai kabushiki gaisha or a so-called Close company, Feigong Kai Weishi Hai Kakai Gaisha, in which case the company, e.g., its board of directors or a shareholders' meeting, as defined in the Articles of Incorporation, must approve any transfer of shares between shareholders. This designation must be made in the Articles of Incorporation. The articles must be sealed by the incorporators and notarized by a notary public, then filed with the Legal Affairs Bureau in the jurisdiction where the company will have its head office. <laughs> Receipt of capital In a direct incorporation, each incorporator receives a specified amount of stock as designated in the Articles of Incorporation. Each incorporator must then promptly pay its share of the starting capital of the company, and if no directors have been designated in the Articles of Incorporation, meet to determine the initial directors and other officers. The other method is an incorporation by offering", in which each incorporator becomes the underwriter of a specified number of shares at least one each, and the other shares are offered to other investors. As in a direct incorporation, the incorporators must then hold an organizational meeting to appoint the initial directors and other officers. 
Any person wishing to receive shares must submit an application to the incorporator, and then make payment for his or her shares by a date specified by the incorporators. Capital must be received in a commercial bank account designated by the incorporators, and the bank must provide certification that payment has been made. Once the capital has been received and certified, the incorporation may be registered at the Legal Affairs Bureau. Topic: <laughs> Structure. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Board of Directors. Under present law, a KK must have a board of directors consisting of at least three individuals. Directors have a statutory term of office of two years, and auditors have a term of four years. Small companies can exist with only one or two directors, with no statutory term of office, and without a board of directors. In such companies, decisions are made via shareholder meeting and the decision-making power of the directors is relatively limited. As soon as a third director is designated such companies must form a board, at least one director is designated as a representative director, Dai Biaoku Diyi Dai Hyotorishimariaku, holds the corporate seal and is empowered to represent the company in transactions. The representative director must report to the Board of Directors every three months. The exact meaning of this statutory provision is unclear, but some legal scholars interpret it to mean that the Board must meet every three months. In 2015, the requirement that at least one director and one representative director must be a resident of Japan was changed. It is not required to have a resident representative director although it can be convenient to do so. Directors are mandatories agents of the shareholders and the representative director is a mandatory of the board. Any action outside of these mandates is considered a breach of mandatory duty. topic Auditing and reporting Every KK with multiple directors must have at least one statutory auditor Statutory auditors report to the shareholders, and are empowered to demand financial and operational reports from the directors. KKs with capital of over 500 million yen, liabilities of over 2 billion yen and or publicly traded securities are required to have three statutory auditors, and must also have an annual audit performed by an outside CPA. Public KKs must also file securities law reports with the Ministry of Finance. Under the new company law, public and other non close KKs may either have a statutory auditor, or a nominating committee, Jiming Wei Yuan Wei Shimei Ian Kai, Auditing Committee, Jian Za Wei Yuan Wei Kanza Ian Kai, and Compensation Committee, Bao Cho Wei Yuan Wei Hoshu Ian Kai. Structure similar to that of American public corporations. Close KKs may also have a single person serving as director and statutory auditor, regardless of capital or liabilities. A statutory auditor may be any person who is not an employee or director of the company. In practice, the position is often filled by a very senior employee close to retirement, or by an outside attorney or accountant. Officers 
Japanese law does not designate any corporate officer positions. Most Japanese owned kabushiki gaisha do not have officers per se, but are directly managed by the directors, one of whom generally has the title of president, Shijong Shacho. The Japanese equivalent of a corporate vice president is a department chief, Bujong Bucha. Traditionally, under the lifetime employment system, directors and department chiefs begin their careers as line employees of the company and work their way up the management hierarchy over time. This is not the case in most foreign-owned companies in Japan, and some native companies have also abandoned this system in recent years in favor of encouraging more lateral movement in management. Corporate officers often have the legal title of shihainan, which makes them authorized representatives of the corporation at a particular place of business, in addition to a common use title. Other legal issues Taxation Kabushiki gaisha are subject to double taxation of profits and dividends, as are corporations in most countries. In contrast to many other countries, however, Japan also levies double taxes on close corporations Yugen Gaisha and Godo Gaisha. This makes taxation a minor issue when deciding how to structure a business in Japan. As all publicly traded companies follow the KK structure, smaller businesses often choose to incorporate as a KK simply to appear more prestigious. In addition to income taxes, KKs must also pay registration taxes to the national government, and may be subject to local taxes. Derivative litigation Generally, the power to bring actions against the directors on the corporation's behalf is granted to the statutory auditor. Historically, derivative suits by shareholders were rare in Japan. Shareholders have been permitted to sue on the corporation's behalf since the post-war Americanization of the Commercial Code, however, this power was severely limited by the nature of court costs in Japan. Because the cost to file a civil action is proportional to the amount of damages being claimed, shareholders rarely had motivation to sue on the company's behalf. In 1993, the Commercial Code was amended to reduce the filing fee for all shareholder derivative suits to 8,200 yen per claim. This led to a rise in the number of derivative suits heard by Japanese courts, from 31 pending cases in 1992 to 286 in 1999, and to a number of very high-profile shareholder actions, such as those against Daiwa Bank and Nomura Securities. See also. Godo Gaisha Gome Gaisha Goshi Gaisha Yugen Gaisha Topic Footnotes Topic External Links Difference between corporate governance practices in Japan and in U.S. Nomura Group